Clippers, cuts, and conversations. They can all be found at the barber shop, and they are considered a haven in black communities where people can really speak freely about any topic. I love this story. Uh, that's one of the reasons the Indiana Donor Network started Barbershop Talks. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey explains. More than 100,000 people need organ donations right now, and black people make up about 25% of that. But even with such a high need, black people are least likely to be organ donors. So that's why these barbershop and beauty shop conversations are so important to get to the heart of why not. And all in the wrist barbershop, you'll get more than a cut or hairstyle you'll get authentic conversations. When I opened this barbershop, it was very intentional that I didn't put TVs in here. Um, and that was because I wanted people to be able to talk. Marvin Taylor grew up in this community along North Meridian and has been cutting hair for quite a while. He's owned the shop for five years. It was in this shop with Indiana Donor Network employee Elliot Stubblefield sitting in his chair where he first started the conversation about organ donation. I've always said that when I came up, uh, the two places you were going to get your information in the African American community was the barbershop and the kitchen table. That conversation grew into barbershop talks. I didn't have a real reason as to why I wasn't a donor. Every time I renewed my driver's license or been asked, I've always said no, just without even thinking, without consciously thinking about no. Oh, they're going to they gonna take my heart, they're going to take my kidney, they're going to take my lungs. You know, what is my loved one going to look like? It's a social media initiative to spotlight why black people often say no when it comes to organ donation, but also a chance to dispel myths about how it's done who it helps and more. Stubblefield says people often don't talk about these things until it's too late. Oh, they don't sugarcoat nothing in here. Like they don't agree with you, they tell you. If they agree with you, they you know they tell you. Either way it go, and that's the kind of environment I wanted because that's a that's more reflective of our community. Taylor says while he welcomes these conversations, he's still on the fence about being a donor. He says whatever he decides, just like others, it likely won't happen overnight. This is the first talk, but the plan is to get other barbershops and beauty salons involved. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.